figures. Bob. Yeah, and it's going to be a record year. Uh, it's going to be a record year for overall buybacks. Just take a look at the numbers. These are still preliminary, but it's pretty close. $850 billion bought back this year. That is a record. The old record, $806 billion in 2018. And as Kayla referenced, four of the five biggest buybacks last quarter were tech stocks. People ask me why tech stocks are so big on buybacks, because they've got the cash flow to enable them to do the buybacks. So Apple is the big one. They've been buying back stock for a long time. Meta, Alphabet, Bank of America, financials have started buying back stock this year as well. That's a, a new development. <clears throat> Oracle's been around for a while buying back stock. The big issue here is whether buybacks reduce the share count. That's what you want. A lower share count means a higher EPS, all of the things being equal. And the biggest companies, the biggest tech companies, are indeed reducing their share count. Apple's been doing this for many, many years. Since the end of 2018, they've reduced their share count nearly 20 percent. Uh, Meta, uh, Facebook just started reducing their share count. Alphabet's been doing it since 2018. Oracle's been a long time buyback monster. Uh, look at that, 25 percent down in the last few years. But others are not. It's mixed, and it depends on what you're looking at. Among some of the other tech names, Tesla hasn't reduced their share count. It's been actually going up in the last few years. They haven't done any buybacks recently. NVIDIA, same thing. Theirs has been going up. Broadcom's been going up. Uh, Adobe has not. Cisco's been slowly going down for the last several years. So you see this is sort of a mixed picture here. Overall, the share count for the S&P 500, despite all of these buybacks that we've been doing for years, actually is higher this year than it was in 2018. It's not overall going down. It's going up. Why is that happening despite uh, several trillion dollars in buybacks in the last few years? There's two reasons. Number one, buybacks are being replaced at the same time with more options. It's like a giant spinning wheel. You, you buy back stock and at the same time, you give out more options to executives and to people who are in management positions. The other reason is share prices are much higher than a few years ago. So the higher share prices reduces the amount of shares the company can buy. A dollar is not worth the same in a buyback as it was several years ago. So you put these two factors together, it's still basically the same share count level that we've had a few years ago. And guys, this is very hot potato politically. The Build Back Better program of President Biden has a 1% uh, tax on buybacks that's been proposed. This has all been bogged down in negotiations, so none of this has actually happened. But all of this is very politically sensitive right now. And I can tell you in 2022, companies are flush with cash. They're going to continue to buy back stock unless that, that cash flow goes down. But for right now, I think 2022 could be another potential record year for buybacks, guys.